monies from the federal government are not to be given to any individual or any NGO who is not properly registered. And they must say this to you. Federal government are not giving anybody any palliative gain. To make sure that yesterday there is a roundtable meeting regarding disbursements. Please, I beg every one of us. Let us leave enmity. Nobody is enemy to anybody. We all came here for a singular purpose. And if this purpose is not achieved, I want to appreciate in a very special way every one of you who are working tirelessly to see that the disappointment we have encountered in the past never continued. A lot of people can say whatever they want. Everybody can speak the kind of English he or she wants. But I believe in one thing, and that is standing on the truth and making sure that the masses understands what they have been into all these years. It's no longer funny. It's no longer easy. It's no longer a joke that so many of us gullibly have seen themselves making mistakes upon mistakes dumbling into errors continuously. I don't know whether it is because they have something they are gaining from it or not. But however, I'm pleading and calling on all Nigerian masses, all NGO CEOs in Nigeria, listen to me. And if you will, you must know that I am not against anybody. I'm only fighting to see that every one of us, including me, rejoices at the end of this struggle. And not being selfish, and not being self-centered, and not being biased. But those who want to still think whatever they want to think, well, you have your choice to make. And your minds are with you to think and decide whatever you think. But both me, I will never allow my people again to fall victim of all these human beings like me and you who came in the form of devil to scam us. In the name of the have money. If I may ask this question, all this masquerading, all this parading, all this noise, flag up today, flag up tomorrow, this week, next week, this month, next month, we've been hearing for over one year plus now from all these handlers how many of them has given even fifty thousand how many of them have even shown even ordinary paper that they have money why are we this god level somebody will jump out from anywhere and begin to celebrate begin to clap hands begin to extort people that you want to discuss well i am for peace i am for the masses the truth i will let you all know is for those who cares to listen please let us come together and see that this money wherever it is whoever is with it even as we have been deceived for all this time and years, 
that this money enters into our account. From here, we are doing everything humanly possible. If you can see the time I'm giving this voice note, this is 11.40 now. I'm still coming in. I'm still on my way. I'm still in meetings. I'm still in discussions. In the better way, we all will be happy. We all will rejoice. Well, I want to still state again. Coming out to look for who to insult is not the remedy. Coming out to abuse people can never be remedy. Calling people names can never be remedy. The only remedy is what effort have you as a person shouting and making noise made to see that the masses smiles again and are happy. Waking up from your bed and sending voice notes. Waking up from your bed and talking. Waking up from your bed and picking up your phone to type text messages. We never help us. The only help we can get from you is to letting us have this money. Nothing more, nothing less. As I speak to you, Every one of you who cares to know can I text that I am not in any way fighting anybody, but I'm fighting to see that every one of us rejoices at the end of it all. And by the grace of God, we must rejoice. We must be happy. Nothing will stop this happiness. Nothing will stop this joy. Like everybody are calling, Everybody are talking. Let me tell you, as a leader, there is nothing you will not hear. But if you are upright, if you are facing reality, if you know what you are doing, there is nothing anybody says that will touch you because you are doing the right thing. People thought I have a problem with uh, uh, Madam Annie, o Annie Opoli. Or poorly. Well, I have no problem with her, and I will never have. She's right to express herself, and you see me keeping quiet over every insult being rendered to me because I know they can't distract me, because I know nobody can stop me, because I know I must get to where I'm going to, in as much as the interest of the masses are in me and I have been attacked, I will never be distracted. My dear CEOs, my dear major subscribers, my dear major stakeholders, I want to plead to all of you. Let us all relax. Let us all calm down. Let us all stop moving from here to there. Some time ago, we will abuse, we will insult people like the other statesman, uh, 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 other statesman, uh, our father, Abuay Cheno, you know, and we will insult. All those who will come out to tell us the truth we need to hear. Your own is because somebody made a mistake yesterday, can no longer do anything good today. That is not the case. That is not the case. That somebody falls now does not mean the person cannot stand up again. It depends on the way you think, it depends on the way you take it up or the way you understand it. I believe God, who we all are serving, gives everybody a second chance. Can we all come together as a team? Can we all come together as a house? Can we all come together and fight this common opportunity God has given to every one of us? Actually, we all know that something somewhere 
actually is the problem. It is not really easy that after you destroy a house, you build it under one day or two days. And destroying is very simple and building is the most difficult thing. We are on the rebuilding now and you know it cannot be easy. But God being with us, God hearing us. Yesterday I was in three radio stations. I was in three online newspapers pleading to our indefatigable president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, the national father, the father of Nigeria, in as much as the position is concerned. He has passion for me, he has passion for you. This man has done a lot of things to alleviate poverty. You may not understand the angle he's doing it from, but go deeply and ask questions. You'll understand that the problem me and you are having is coming from within us, are all coming from us, from our inside, from our homes. If we must understand, go to the federal government and make inquiries. You will understand that people are talking of palliative. You are talking of this, you are talking of that. All these things you are talking about, in as much as we are concerned, these monies from the federal government are not to be given to any individual or any NGO who is not properly registered. And I must say this to you, federal government are not giving anybody any palliative. Every palliative to be given is through the state government and our local government. If we must agree with me, I plead all of us, it's important we all calm down. It's important we all know that we are all fighting a common goal here. Let us all understand that noise making has never solved any single problem. We are digging to make sure that yesterday there is a roundtable meeting regarding disbursement. Please, I beg every one of us, let us leave enmity. Nobody is enemy to anybody. We all came here for a singular purpose. And if this purpose is not achieved, what is our achievement? What is all this noise all about? What are we doing? You rent from here, you rent from there, you abuse from here, you abuse from there. Is it what the masses need now? Or are the parents of the masses not touching you? Or are the suffering they are passing through not touching you? Or what they are experiencing not touching you? Look at every day. But some of us who have lost everything are still being this problem to themselves. If you have lost everything and your anger is on somebody that is innocent, what are you talking about? What do you think you are doing? I beg every one of us, can we, just as I'm speaking to you and as you are listening to me, have only 10, 15 minutes to yourself, think, just think that God will direct you. That God will help you to understand where you are and what you are doing. So many of us have gone astray. They don't even know where they are. They are confused. They don't even understand what they are doing. Look at a lot of 
CEOs in the hospital, a lot of them has lost their properties. A lot of them has lost their homes. A lot of them, their children are in the house playing, not going to school. A lot of them has no more business they are doing. So many came and their jobs, they have quitted it. Nothing again they are doing. Depending and believing that this money will come. And indeed, it will come by the special grace of God. No matter what is holding it. I keep calling, I keep asking. You must not say, I will ask you for support or whatever. No. God is helping us. We are moving and doing what we are supposed to do. I'm not asking. But I want to appreciate a lot of us who God is actually touching to render one or two support to all these moves. Because we must continue until the day. Finally, I will go to television station to speak to our amiable president, to look into our disbursements, to look into people that are in charge that this money be released immediately. Because I believe under 72 hours, this money will enter into everyone's account from what I gathered as at now as I speak to you. I'm not resting, I'm not sleeping, and I'm not being gullible, and I cannot compromise. Some say that I'm supporting Apostle Ken. Some say that for you, AG. Some say that for this and for that. Well, you have your mouth. You have your thinking. You can say whatever you want to say. We all paid money. We all subscribed to so many grants in the past. We all had the results. Here we are in UAAG. We all Kuro Kuro saw that every one of us subscribed to UAAG. And someone somewhere is saying I'm supporting Apostle Ken. I am representing Apostle Ken and whatever. Let me tell you. Apostle Ken is our country director for UAAG. And what do we supposed to do? Do we now say because he's Apostle Ken, we abandon him to fight alone in giving us this money? And we all know that we are working with the federal government of Nigeria. We know the system of our government. If you don't move, you remain where you are. If you don't make effort, you're on your own. And if you don't ask, nobody will answer you. That is what we are all doing. To see that even Apostle Ken need money. All the grand handlers, all of them need money. But falling into mistakes, I mean, that is what I don't know where it's coming from. But then, presently, what are we all focusing at? We are all focusing that UAAG disburses the money to me and you. Why are we now fighting ourselves? Why are we now making all these mistakes? Who told you has money from anywhere to give to you? At least from our people who stood for us in the past. We have all heard the history of how this new age money came. But what is holding it is just one or two little on misunderstandings, one or two little disagreements, and not the rest of them, which by the grace of God, we are seriously fighting that it comes to me and you. To be happy again, I plead to all of you, my fellow CEOs, all the state chairmen, again, I want to state here, this is me, Ambassador Dr. Pascal Anyawo, your leader. A man came up sometime to say he is my PA. He's not my PA. Wherever he's coming from is what I don't know. Whoever that sent him is who I don't know. And whatever is controlling him is what I don't know. But I want you to note that such a person need to be 
apprehended. And I'm doing everything to make sure all the 36 states of this country, Nigeria, all the CEOs in the different states who can trust this young man should do that. And once any state sees him, hear me, hear me again. Once any state sees him, please, I beg the chairman of that state and the executive to please arrest this man and call on me. He will brought Abuja for impersonation. He has impersonated my name and the wrongly for that matter. And he needs to be brought to book. And all those who come to social media to abuse people, to say what you don't know about people, be very careful. Because we, the CEOs, NGOs are not joking here. We are on a very serious business. We are on a very serious matter. Until this money enters the account of NGO CEOs, we will never rest. Believe me, any moment from now, you are going to get the result you want. Again, I want to say thank you to all my other state men, all the fighters, genuines, all who are solidly for the masses to get this money, all who want the masses to smile again. I want to say a very big thank you to all of you. I want to thank all the 36 state executives, all the state executives, or a national executive of NGO CEOs, I want to appreciate every one of you. I want to also thank God for our indefatigable president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, our own dear President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. He's doing indeed a great job. You may not understand, but you will understand later. I want also ask we pray for the country director of UAAG, Apostle Ambassador Dr. Ken Wakama, he is there. And it is only when we come around him, we can see that indeed he is making effort to deliver this mandate to me and you. And God will help him. God will help me. God will help you. This money will enter our account. More effort, more push, and we'll see it happen. I beg every one of you, let us stop fighting ourselves. Let us stop thinking anybody is your enemy. The person you are calling your enemy today, I don't know those of you who know each other. Do you know the person before the grand community? Before the grand matter? Do you know that person? The answer is no. We all came together here to know ourselves. Why the enmity? Why the hatred? Why the jealousy? Why the this? Why the that? We must come together before we can get it right. A hell divided against itself can never stand. But when we come together, it will stand and we get what we are looking for. I beg all of you, may our minds be at rest, be at peace. May we all relax. Our God is at work, seriously at work. I will never disappoint us. A lot of things are on ground, and me and you are going to achieve every one of them. Please be focused. We may stay fast and don't compromise again. Please, before you do anything as NGO, as a CEO, you are looking for this, you are looking for that, called money or grants, please allow us to make our findings. If we tell you, come, you come. If you tell you, stop, stop. Don't be very fast to see yourself managing and the same people paying what they are not supposed to pay. All these things has to stop. All these things has to stop. Because we are making every move to see that this thing stops by force. And once we point at you, well, you may not like where you end up yourself. I am not making noise. I'm not just talking because I need to talk. I'm only speaking because the truth must be told. And we must get it right this time. 
again i want to say god bless every one of you god bless grand community god bless all the expectant of all these grants god bless all ngo ceos god bless all the national executives god bless our country nigeria and the leaders i am ambassador dr pascal Anyang, your own leader your tireless leader your capacity leader i will say again have a wonderful night rest you will hear from me shortly but for now sleep fine and may the holy angels of god surround us and guide us as we sleep thank you until i call your way again for the final good news god bless you all this is 1201 at my time here you can see i'm still awake but it is well god bless you all.